you are watching an Al Bear review. Cue the music. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Everybody, be sure to show some love, leave me a comment, like, share, and all that beautiful stuff. Um, I'm here with the Black Ink Company review. Great episode, man. Way more entertaining than Black Ink, New York, or the, or the original Black Ink, <clears throat> for whatever. But the show came on with Tim and um, I Am Compton. You know, me personally, I feel like we need to do better with the with, uh, with they, you know, artistry names because it's it's very annoying to pronounce all of that. But nevertheless, um, Tim couldn't wait to tell um, I am about uh, him hearing Lemire talk crazy about him at the opening. <clears throat> Tim, Tim to me is how can I say this? He's He's way worse. He worse than Teddy. Um, I'm gonna just go out there and say it. Um, Tim said last week that he was just gonna, you know, keep his information to himself, and if need be, he'll let I am know, and he gonna keep an eye on Lemire. <clears throat> That's not what Tim was trying to do. Tim, Tim trying to get Lemire up out of there. Like Tim trying to put a bulls out on Lemire, and I mean. Right or wrong, I mean, <clears throat> that's what he doing. So, you know, I just feel like last week, maybe he should have just, you know what I'm saying, said something to Lemire right then and there instead of just eavesdropping and, and playing it cool. Like, I am, you know, he, he, he your boy, right? Like, I know you didn't want to cause a scene, but it didn't have to cause a scene. You could have just, uh, you know, approached Lemire and just told him like, hey, that energy ain't welcome here. It, it, that's that's what you want. You can you know exit, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but whatever, man. I do feel like Tim is a drama queen. And while we talking about Tim, let me just go ahead and, and take it a few steps further while we talking about Tim. So this episode, um, I am come to meets up with this potential tattoo artist. Her name's Elena. She's twenty years old. She's only been tattooing for six months, but she's been drawing her whole life. Long story short, he decided to hire the girl, right? So the girl showed up to the shop, um, ask uh, where's I am, and uh, Barbie was like, do you have an appointment? She was like, no new tattoo artist. Keep in mind, Voodoo Doll, whatever that crazy girl name, she is, uh, I am Compton's apprentice. She's been his, his apprentice for the last year or something like that. I don't know. So when they find out that this girl is a certain age, how long she's been tattooing, it caused all type of crazy disrespect, excuse me, towards her and her hiring, which I mean, I get it. She only been tattooing for six months. You make a call, I build your apprentice for an entire year. Like, listen, I understand he's a boss, but he definitely didn't think about how that was gonna go over in the shop. So anywho, uh, right after her introduction, um, or, or right before, um, Lemire had a client showed up. Long story short, Lemire was not there again for another client because him and his girlfriend, Danielle, was out looking for um, another snow, ice, or whatever um type of truck ice uh shaved ice truck that is that him and his girlfriend has as a business so <clears throat> <sighs> happy ice that's the name of it so i am content thought it would be a good idea to give this man um client to the new girl elena and basically he only gave the girl the client so she could do some artwork and show the rest of the crew that she Liddy, like for real Liddy. So y'all already know what happened. <clears throat> the mirror, he pops up late. It goes crazy, it goes left. And somehow or another, you know, Nessie, she starts taking up for, um, Lemire was like, that's not proper tattoo etiquette, giving away another, you know, tattoo artist client, especially giving away the client to a rookie. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and so Tim come out of nowhere and say, you surely taking up for Lemire a lot. Like I believe y'all, smash it on the low 
And so it just went left. And this thing, you know, Tim went over there trying to uh, mess with her tattoo booth and remove her stuff. And, you know, it was like, to me, like at first, last, what a, uh, the second episode or third episode, whichever one, when Tim sprayed Barbie at the uh, beach over the whole incident when she got mad at Lemire for being upset with that, yeah. I ain't gonna think too much of it, but Tim, Tim took it too far when he got an issue with, uh, you know what I'm saying, with a woman. He ain't have no right to actually say her sticking up for her friend to say that they, that they messing around. He definitely didn't have a right to go to her tattoo booth and start removing her stuff as if he's the owner of the shop. But that's what happened when you have a person who does not contribute anything to the shop, such as a Ted and Tim, but they have say so. And they know and they know they have say so. See, that's the dangerous part about say so when you know you have it. Like when you know you have it, you move different. Tim moving completely crazy. He's disrespectful. He don't bring any money into the shop. It's you know, like I I, I don't know. I felt like he was out of line, period. So long story short, it appears that Tim and Lemire is gonna get into it. And I'm rooting for Lemire. Personally, I know he's going through a lot, but that was just messed up, man. Tim took the L twice on that one for me. So that was that. So, anyways, moving on. Um, I talked about um <clears throat> Lemire. Uh, yes, yeah, so I already talked about Lemire and Baby Mama wants to buy another happy ice truck. Um, after the their last doctor visit, she said the bill was nine hundred dollars, and I'm just saying to myself, like, okay, I get happy ice and money maker. Y'all need to get y'all some damn insurance. A $900 doctor visit. And the doctor just told y'all, y'all child may be having complications. So you can only imagine the amount per doctor visit in the future that they had to go to all these specialists. Like, forget Happy Ice, a, another truck for Happy Ice. You need to go and get some health insurance because she's pregnant. She wouldn't be able to have a truck and he wouldn't be like, you gotta hire somebody like, no. Bad idea. So anyways, <clears throat> um, the first day in the shop, uh, I am counting the first art. I mean, first person he gonna text is Columbus Short. Columbus coming at it like, a, like, it felt like he was acting. Like, I can't really take Columbus serious being in content. Like, and you know, I like Columbus, but I just can't take him serious being in content. He came in there, you know, shoulders rocking like this. Like, yo, I pulled a dude, brains just got blowed out, yo. On the sideline, I'm just like, you acting, stop it. We're gonna get you another job. Sean, they're gonna call you back. I didn't just apologize. That's all I'm saying. So he wasn't lying. They went outside, Tim and I am. Um, they went outside. I guess the dude, Mexican brain, got shot in the head. But I mean, we didn't even see if he tatted Columbus. So Columbus kind of left. You get what I'm saying? So. You know, that's the first day in the shop. But you know, I understand, man. Let me tell you something about going to this shop. You got to really know that you want one of these artists to tattoo you to go to a shop in the middle of Compton in broad daylight or at nighttime. Cause as you seen, this guy got his brains blowed out in broad daylight. That could be anybody. So if I was to ever get a tattoo from any one of those artists, I'm sorry, y'all gonna have to come to me. I'll pay the fee. Like seriously, like I'm not going to Compton for a tattoo. So, but I am interested to see how they do um, a year from now to see if it's still doing, you know, having success, et cetera, et cetera. I hope it do, but that's just me. So, anywho, <clears throat> we learned that um, Voodoo is still upset at Tim, which is why she hasn't been around the crew and which why she kind of showed up late and all this. And um, I mean, how I feel about Tim right now, Voodoo be mad with him every single week. Like he just do too much. So anyway, this episode, I am content. He goes to take his mother out to dinner. Basically, they talk about the shop opening as well as um, what Tim told him about the mirror. And Mama basically told him, "You don't need negative people. You know what I'm saying? Uh, in your corner." Me personally, I just wish somebody would have a conversation, like a serious conversation with Lemire about <clears throat> why is he, you know, his behavior is like 
out of control right now. Like it's out of norm for him, as opposed to, you know, every, I, and you know, I understand everybody has something going on, but this dude is really dealing with something. Yes, what he's speaking, uh, well, you know, the things that he's saying, he actually feels th this way, but it's deeper than that. He know he don't supposed to say this type of stuff about the people he worked with, but I just wish somebody would just sit down. I cannot wait for the episode that I am or one of the females sit down with Tim, I mean, with uh, Lemire or Danielle and actually find out what's going on because I don't want to feel, you know, I don't want them to turn against uh, Lemire, man. I really don't. <clears throat> I like him. So, um, also this episode, uh, Nessie, her and Voodoo got close. Voodoo tell her about, I'm tired of hearing about that damn coat, y'all. Like, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I understand she grew up in it. I get it, but I'm tired of hearing about it. So I don't even talk about it. But over, uh, all in all, great episode. <clears throat> I enjoyed it. Um, Tim's a butt. He's worse than Ted. Um, and that's pretty much the episode. So if you guys have any comments, leave them down in the comment section below. Until next time, I'm out. You know the vibes. Happy Thursday. Holla.